Hi everyone. So this is a bit of an impromptu stream. I had a little bit of time and I wanted to check out the new Against the Storm update. The Rain Punk update, part one, and now there's part two on the experimental branch, which is where we're at right now. This is the experimental branch, which has a separate save file but you can unlock all the meta with a simple console command. So that's what I did, which means everything is unlocked for testing purposes. And that's mostly what I'll be doing here. I just want to check out all the new stuff. I might just go with a veteran or something like that. So I don't have to worry too much about losing. Let's do the marshlands actually. I think I'll just go with the veteran, just to, again, check out uh, the new stuff. Right, uh, so everything is unlocked. Okay, let's go with the beavers and lizards. You know, uh, uh, there was also an update for the camps. Uh, I played it very briefly, but I haven't actually played it much, because they revamped the whole camp system. You can now build small camps without actually unlocking them. Uh, but you need to unlock the proper camp to work uh, the large nodes. Something like that. I only played with it really, really briefly, like an hour or two, that's it. So I haven't really played the, this game properly since the camp update. Just saying. Alright, uh, let's just grab the bricks, fabric, planks, and to get started a bit faster, and pick up some meat. That's fine. All right, hopefully I can remember how to play this. <laughs> Haven't played in a while. Here, build the road. Uh, let's check what's going on up here first. Again, 30 insects for each discovered glade, okay? Active during drizzle season. A looming darkness. A rotting rain. Oh, that's pretty bad. A living matter will spawn on one farm field every 70 seconds with hostility at two or higher. That's pretty bad. Hail storm. Villagers without housing will have a chance to die every 15 seconds. That's also pretty bad. Yeah, the, I guess I'll just avoid building farms, to be honest. I had this in the past. It was pretty bad. The living matter is just annoying in general, but this is really bad. Lightning. Okay, at the beginning of the storm, pay five copper multiplied by the amount of years. Oh, that's bad. If you don't, a lightning will destroy three buildings. Wow. Okay, that's pretty bad. Well, I mean, it's not the end of the world because the buildings won't actually disappear. You will just have to spend some resources to repair them. So it's not the end of the world if it happens, but free hostility is like pretty low. Alluring lights. Villagers with this effect have a plus 5% chance of perishing. Oh, okay. Okay, this is the really bad one. At 6 or higher. So people without two services fulfilled will have 5% chance to die every 15 seconds. You know, this would actually be maybe a good game to get cannibalism in. <laughs> That's like the cornerstone where you get... I don't remember what you get. But you get something every time somebody lives or dies. Because this might be hard to prevent entirely once I start getting six or higher. I guess we'll see when we get there. Right, so this is uh, like one of the new buildings uh, in the update. Like the whole blight system works differently now. Okay. So I'll want to open glaze during the drizzle season because of the free insects, preferably. That's the idea, at least. Yeah, yeah, meat. From dead people. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> hey, maybe it's not. It's when they die or leave. So where is the meat from if they just leave? <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, so now you can just build a small trapper's camp without having to unlock it. Only need the large one for the big nodes, but not for the small ones. That is a pretty good system. I like that system. I can just pop it right here. Uh, let's check the cornerstones. Driving water. Water is not only used to power engines, 
wood cutting speed will increase by plus 10% for every 150 units of water used in rain engines. <laughs> yeah, see, I haven't seen this new system yet, so I have no way to know whether that's any good. These are just words. <laughs> they tell me nothing. Plus two to reed production, plus two to leather production. Trade routes are worth one more amber. I mean, I guess this is a stream for testing purposes, so I can grab this. Okay, we can grab this. So how does this actually work? Right, you need an actual spot to place it on. Yeah, you need to find a resource node. Hey, can you find them in the smaller glades or just the bigger ones? I might want to go after the bigger ones earlier than usual, I guess. All types? Okay, good to know. All right, another one. Let's check the orders. Uh, complete any two glade events. Get planks. Have at least one hub upgraded to an encampment. In three minutes. Okay, I think that's doable. Oh yeah, also I need to get houses. I think that's doable. It should be. I wouldn't want to fail it, but... What are the rewards? Tools. Wildfire Essence. Okay, the rewards are not that great, to be honest. I might just go for the planks one. Yeah, especially since I already have the planks because I picked them up as the Embark bonus. Next up, cut through the forest to discover two glades. Rebuild or salvage one building. Plus one clay production, plus one stone production. That is nice. Let's go with that. Complete two glade events, sell goods worth at least 15 amber, get some oil, get some amber. Okay, that's a good one. I'll wait to get more impatience before delivering that. No need to rush. Is this enough time to open one more to get the insects? I think so. It might be. Over here. Let's go with that. It's not a lot of time, a minute and a half. Maybe I can do one more. That seems like a stretch. Still, three insects. If I can make it. It might be too slow here. Like one second too slow or 15 seconds. Oh, there we go. Got it. So that's almost 120 insects now from all that. Also, houses. <laughs> almost forgot about houses. Who needs houses anyway? Clearly overrated. I don't know how many hours I got clocked in this game, because it wasn't on Steam for a pretty long time. But it's probably over 100 easily. I'm pretty sure it's over 100. Right, buildings. Workshop. Oh, pipes, okay. Can you storm water? Uh, the Rainpunk technology system allows you to install rain engines in production buildings and the boost productivity using infused rainwater. To install a rain engine, go to the rain punk tab in the UI. You will need a new resource type to pay for it. The pipes. Pipes can be made from metal. Once installed, you will see that rain engine has two modules. Okay, this is a lot of text. I'll figure it out as I go. Oh yeah, advanced rain harvester. That's new. Can collect infused rainwater used for crafting and powering rain engines in production buildings. The type of harvested rainwater depends on the season. Uh, okay. So wait, do you have like a basic one? Or what? Or do you have to unlock that to begin with? Oh, there's a new road type, reinforced road. Interesting. That requires copper. There's the rain collector. So is this just an advanced rain collector? I assume this is now used for different purposes as well. All right, I'll just grab the workshop. A ranch, plantation, greenhouse, small farm. I might want to avoid farms because of rotten rain. I don't want living matter to spawn, so I might actually avoid that. A ranch would be good, but I'll need the inputs. There is a bunch of grain around here. Right here? Not some tremendous amount, but maybe we'll find more. I mean, ranch has always been good. Okay, ranch, a carpenter, clay pit, cookhouse, leather worker. I do have a lot of insects already and a fair bit of eggs. 
So Coke House would be alright. I got seven lizards. Yeah, Coke House is probably worth it. Can use drizzle water, alright. Coke House it is then. And let's get that workshop up right away. Chop these trees actually. So that I can connect the road. Not that it's really needed, but I like when it's nice and finished. Alright, well, there's the workshop. Not that I have to work it just yet. Right, so pipes require copper or crystallized jewel. So it's more of a like mid-game thing, since obviously I don't have either just yet. Yeah, I know, right? I like when the roads are nice and connected, even though I know it's not needed in this game. But I still like when they are nice and connected. Right, now I can just deliver the order here. Trader, almost forgot about the trader. And we can open up the bigger glade after the storm season. Yeah, it's a really good game. I really like just the concept of the game in general, because I like city builder type games and like colony builder type games, but I don't like late game in them. Because in a lot of these games, the late game basically comes down to massive amounts of micromanagement, which for me just stops being fun. I don't enjoy that part, but that part doesn't exist in Against the Storm. So I like that. Yeah, in a sense, it's often kind of similar in Civ, because a lot of the time I already know when the game is won in Civ, and it's a bigger problem in Civ 6 compared to Civ 5. In Civ 5 I had a lot of games where I wasn't sure whether I'm going to win until like pretty late in, until mid late game, because AI was a bit more competent, especially in like wars and stuff. But in Civ 6 I often already know I won, like slightly more than halfway through. But I wouldn't want to leave it unfinished. It's just that past certain point it feels like you're just going through the motions. And there's often like a lot of micro. In C5 you could automate your builders, your workers, and uh, turn on the option that made them ignore your improvements and things like that. But because of how builders work in C6 you can't really automate them. So, not a big fan of that. Oh yeah, trader. Let's see then. Any buildings have their storage capacity increased by 10. Traders will arrive quicker. Okay, that's only 8. I can probably do that. It would be useful to have them arrive quicker. Don't necessarily want to sell food. Here, let's sell some building materials. I don't want to sell clay all that much. A few insects. There. That'll do. And we'll pick up a beneficial agreement. Hey, at least Civ games aren't as bad in that regard as Paradox games. Anyone here play Paradox games but never actually finish any of them? Okay, Cornerstone. The people in your settlement have survived many hardships. Plus 10% villager speed, one global resolve. All right, yeah, I'll go with that. And speaking of like games on my list of things to play, I don't want to play, I'm not sure which one, but I don't want to play some Paradox stuff again. It's just that one, getting back into it can be a little bit intimidating. And two, the nature of these games means I don't necessarily want to finish them all the way to the end. I mean, I did play Victoria 3 on YouTube. That was a little bit buggy on release, but it was fun enough. Uh, yeah, I was checking out the big meta update for the last spell very briefly. I played it for maybe an hour. That's definitely also on my list. I will be doing that. Oh, whoops, I uh, missed the drizzle season here. This might still be enough time. Let's see if we can cut through here real quick. This might be enough time. It should be enough time. New orders. Reach standing level 1 with two settlements. That's easy. A cut through the forest to discover two dangerous or forbidden glades. Nine minutes. Explorers lodge as a reward. Now that is nice. 
That is really nice. I might try to do that. That should be pretty easy. I mean, I can do it. I can definitely do it. It's just a question of whether I'll have to do it right before a storm season or not. But it should be all right. We'll give it a shot. Nine minutes should be plenty of time. Yeah, yeah, I definitely want to do Stellaris. Out of all the Paradox games, I think Stellaris is the least intimidating one to get back into again, just because of the nature of the game, where you start with nothing and expand from there. You then have to manage, like, all kinds of stuff right from the start. So I like that. <laughs> the downside is that they changed the entire game, Stellaris, I mean, like, three times now. Like, if you compared Stellaris today to what Stellaris was on release, it might as well, like, have an entirely different title. Like, the graphics are one of the few things it still has in common with 1.0. It might as well be a completely different game. I keep beaver resolve above 22. 18 packs of crops. I can probably do beaver resolve. Maybe not immediately, but definitely can. Yeah, I like the different travel types. I get that it's tough to balance, but I liked it. It added much needed variety. I understand why they got rid of it, but I wish they kept that, because I really like that. Alright, uh, open vault. Oh yeah, that's pretty bad, but I should have enough time to do it before it stacks with the storm season. Ancient tablets. I'll take the amber. Oh wow! <laughs> okay, this would be pretty bad if it triggered. It kills every living being within 20 fields, and it basically overlaps with my heart. That's almost like a game ending thread here, if it triggers. I had one of those in the past. Alright, let's go. Yeah, this might get a little bit tricky. Can I actually handle this? Yeah, this might be a little bit problematic. And I'm currently using some biscuits that I had. I'm not even producing any. Dropping hostility might not even help. Okay, lizards are better now. I might be able to shuffle uh, the lighter treatment around. It's a lot of shuffling back and forth, but as long as it's only one group in the negatives, I can keep shuffling it around constantly and keep them all in the positives. It's just a little bit of micro. Oh, there's a geyser. Oh yeah, right here, I see it. Right, okay, so I can build a pump right here. And that will give me drizzle water. So wait, do you have to somehow connect it, like physically? Or is it enough to just build the pump and you get the resource? Because there were pipes, but they required a copper, which I obviously don't have at the moment. Okay, you don't actually have to build pipes themselves, right? It's just that the pump requires pipes. But you don't have to physically connect it with pipes. Okay, makes sense. Alright, so let's grab that here. And where can you see... Oh, right here. Right? Oh, okay, I see how it works. Okay, okay. I see. So ranch uses drizzle water. I should probably build a ranch, actually. So let's build that real quick. And move this guy out of the way slightly. Okay, ranch. You have to do longer streams. It doesn't really make any sense to do like a one hour, two hour streams on Twitch. You have to do like at least four hours, five hours. Pretty much everyone I know who streams on, on Twitch seriously agrees with that. Do I even have the materials here? Uh, yeah, not yet. I need to uh, get the wheat. Uh, grain, rather. So there is some up here. And that was Trapper's Camp. Alright, let's get that done then. And there's more down here. This should be enough for a while. And then I can make at least some food. Uh, how are we doing at the vault? 70% done. Hey, hold on. I still need one more glade. I think I can do it after the storm. So we'll do it after the storm, not before. Probably this one. Clear some space around the warehouse. So I technically don't need this yet. I see, so we can fill the tank and then just unassign them, I assume. That's filling pretty quickly, actually. 
I can't really work the ranch yet because first I need grain. Here you go. Okay, this is fine. Oh yeah, we're done with this. Good. I'm a bit low on population. But we're about to get some. Okay, so now we want to open this. I need to not run out of time. A 1 minute 22 seconds. Okay, I think that's enough. It's hard to judge sometimes because that's not a whole lot of time by this game's standards. Might actually be safer to open this one. I can do that a little bit faster. Yeah, let's just play it safe. I don't want to miss out on the rewards. So right here. That should be quick. Might be a little bit quicker here even. And this is fine. And newcomers. All right. And some houses. Man, you know I can just build houses basically anywhere out of the way. To like stash them away somewhere. But I still like to build them next to the road. It just looks better. Regardless of the fact that I know it's completely unnecessary to do it. But it still just looks better. <laughs> the recent update has been getting a lot of critical comments. Some of it made sense. The geyser blight road system made things less challenging. Hoping this more recent change fixes some of the issues. Oh, all right. Again, plus one production to all packs. Newcomers will arrive quicker. Newcomers bring more goods. I don't like more packs if I get a chance to actually use that. All right, maybe we'll get a chance to use that for some orders. I still need to rebuild or salvage one building, but this glade didn't have one. Uh, also, large leech broodmother. So if I want this, now I need to unlock the shepherd's camp if I get a chance. Oh, there it is. Let's do that right away. That is going to be a lot of charges. Uh, this was a trapper camp, which means I can just get rid of this. Reclaim the resources. And build a big one. Right here. There you go. That's going to be a lot of meat. It's funny because I might not actually need that ranch with all this meat. <laughs> okay, 20 seconds. I actually barely made it. Barely. With 12 seconds left. Mushrooms, alright. So this will unlock the explorer's lodge. That's pretty nice. 40 jerky and 12 tools. But I barely made it. Almost failed that. A fishman cave, okay. Fishman witches have prepared a special surprise for anyone trying to break into the cave. Oh yeah, I remember this one. Uh, this one is a little bit obnoxious, but all right. Yeah, a totem will spawn every 60 seconds. I remember this. And 19 out of 25 coal, so not quite there. I might just have to use the tools, unfortunately. I don't really want to just leave it here. Oh, hold on. Trader is here. Okay. Uh, resin, oil, Simarrow. Yeah, she only sells tools. I suppose I could buy tools. I still need to sell goods worth five more amber. Probably a good moment to do that right now. Let's just do that right now. What do I want to sell? Here, some wood. That's a good enough trade. All packs of goods are produced faster, woodcutters move faster. Uh, biscuits can now be produced in the kiln and the rain mill, okay. Well, I don't have either, but that might be useful later on. If I can get the kiln, that would be really nice. If. Oh, there it is. Well then. That's a no-brainer right there. And it's a two-star recipe as well. Okay, that's a no-brainer. I'm definitely going to get the kiln. The kiln is already like an S-tier building. With biscuit production, that's like an SS++. Plus <laughs> plus, More or less. And it's even better because I have lizards. Alright, let's get that done ASAP. And that will finish the order as well. That's 10 more amber, which I could spend. What else is she selling? Mushroom production, right, woodcutters move faster. I can just buy tools. Uh, let's check the caches. That's medium one, 12. Just one. And a small one here, that's eight. I could buy eight. 
All right, let's just buy eight. That's almost enough. Just from Amber alone. There it is. Done. And we'll do both. Off you go. And the other one as well. That's going to be a nice reputation and Amber boost. There's the trapper's camp, so obviously lizards in this one. And the kiln. Let's finish that first. Now I need uh, to produce some flour. But we can make jerky. We will be getting a lot of meat. I have a lot of insects. So jerky will be super easy. And obviously coal. I'll have to wait for the biscuits, but we'll get them too. I might have to move some lizards though. Yeah, and these guys. I could use some more beavers, but all right. That'll do. Keep chopping. Let's just chop some of this. I might be a bit too late to open this, but maybe not. Well, hold on. Uh, I still have to do this fishman cave. And I used my tools. I can still cancel. Yeah, I forgot about that shit. I think I'll have to cancel this for now. Unless I can... I can wait to get more coal. I think we have enough time to get the coal. Yeah, we have enough time. This has 9 minutes 15 seconds left. And I need 4 minutes 30 seconds to do it. So it's fine. I just need 6 more coal. Let's focus just on the coal for a moment. Here. That one round will be enough on its own. Uh, let's open this really quick. Go on. And before drizzle ends, so I get my insects. It should be done. Yeah, it's 40 seconds. There it is. Uh, drizzle water geyser. Okay. So that's the same type. A large stone deposit. That's nice. A large destroyed caravan and a large abandoned cache. Right, that's minus 7 to global resolve, but I think we can handle this quickly enough. Oh yeah, and we got a large encampment down here as well, with some more population or more amber. I wouldn't mind more population right now. I have no spare people left at the moment. What do we have here? Incense, monastery, fulfill religion, 60 times. I can probably do that, but I'll need some unlocks. In theory, that might be a little bit easier. It's hard to tell. For this one, I will have to unlock monastery specifically, which I might or might not get lucky with. Let's see what we can get first. Uh, training gear, okay. Ale, wine, pigment, coats, barrels. Okay, that's a tough one. I think I'll take training gear, because with stone, that's very easy to make. And I have a bunch of large stone deposits right here. That's a lot of stone. So that's probably the best way to go. Alright, monofactory. A clothier, stamping mill, scribe, tinker. I will need a way to produce tools. And this is a bit unfortunate, because I just picked out that building for training gear unnecessarily. <laughs> well, alright. I could just get the scribe instead. Unlock scrolls and ale, and a slightly less efficient tool production. That's probably a better idea. But I also need flour for the biscuits. So that's a tough one. Okay, that's kind of a tough one. I think I'll take the flour, because I could definitely use the biscuits. And I will actually be getting the roots from the stone deposits here. Not to mention, I will need copper bars. Alright, stamping mill. I guess that will do. I need more planks. Yeah, I need more population. Uh, right now they are busy with some temporary things. Like the cache here. That's almost done. I still need to do the fishman cave. We got a little bit of time. Oh, I need to turn off the coal. Whoops. Yeah, turn that shit off. I need my coal. Faster. Let's get this started ASAP. I need extra people for the totems when they start spawning. And then we also uh, got this large destroyed caravan too. That will be done soon. Uh, let's get some more houses in advance. Yeah, maybe a few lizard houses. I can afford it. Might as well keep them happy. And I need to upgrade the heart as well. <laughs> okay, okay. 
You know, they should probably do something with this hard upgrade system, make it a little bit more interesting, because right now it's kind of like pointless. I just spam a few decorations like somewhere out of the way and that's it. Like, that's all I do. It's not a very interesting system. Will we finish that caravan before? Yes, it's almost done. There we go, done. Uh, that's going to be a bunch of totems spawning right here. So what exactly is the bonus? I have a limited amount of pipes. And right now I only have one uh, water type. The green one. And no, you can build houses literally anywhere. It basically does not matter where you build the houses. Because nobody actually goes into the houses. Like, they don't give a shit where the houses are built. As long as they are built in range of the hearth, it literally does not matter. Yeah, yeah, it's a little bit silly, but that's pretty much how it works. Oh, building this... Wait, what? Oh, yeah, 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 it's... Uh, this shit here. Hailstorm. Right. Well, I guess it's not the end of the world. It doesn't actually destroy it. I just have to, like, rebuild it. I suppose it could have been worse. I probably have to stop chopping here. Hostility will be too high otherwise. Maybe even use up some coal. It might not be necessary. I can just shuffle lighter treatment around. Yep, another new totem. How's our progress here? One more minute. Okay. Oh, and I'm missing some houses. Hey, we're building them, like right now. That should be done in just a moment. Okay, one builder died. Sucks to be him. It's because of hailstorm here. Plus 5% chance for anyone without a house to die. There, done. We're all good now. Right, so I have to rebuild this. It's not a big deal, but three people will be busy for a little bit. That was a little bit unlucky. Two of my houses got hit. And then because I had people without houses, they got killed by hailstorm. That was pretty unlucky timing right there. The cave is almost done. There we go, done. Okay. Let's check out the new cornerstone. Gain one reputation point every time you sell goods worth 60 amber. While slowing the reputation gained from resolve by 50%, okay? Uh, I don't think I'll be building the farms because of the uh, living matter stuff. Relatives of your villagers send gifts for treating their family members well. Gain 40 water skins for every full reputation point obtained for resolve. Okay, I don't think I'll be picking up woodcutter's prayer. Lose all stored fuel. I have a lot of fuel stored at this point. Uh, actually, not that much, but I would lose 16 coal, 16 oil, and 166 wood if I picked that up. So not convinced it's a great idea. Plus one to wood production is nice though. Okay, what the heck, I might regret this, but I'll pick it up. I might regret this. I need to go back to chopping quickly now. I only have four beavers. Not exactly a huge number. Yeah, two of them are down here, one of them. And one of them is repairing the shelter, okay. Let's check the trader. I got 50 amber. A 0 0.5 reputation, I'll take it. Plant fiber production, ale production, pottery production, okay. I think I might just buy some tools here. Let's check real quick. We had that large cache right here. I got zero, I would need 16. I can buy 15. Okay, that's a bit unlucky, but I suppose I might as well just buy all 15. What the heck, I'll just buy all 15. They won't go to waste. Oh, there we go, five more. There it is, done. We can grab this cache right away. I should probably demolish this ranch, because I literally don't really need it. <laughs> I could use it to make leather or something, but I don't really need it for meat all that much. Because I'm getting meat from here. Okay, we're done down here. And let's grab new people. Or I can just get Amber. My population isn't that high just yet. We'll go with that. A grill, cellar, alchemist hut, smithy. I don't need a way to produce tools. Codes might also come in handy. So smithy probably makes sense. Okay, smithy. 
A press Claudier Cellar Grammary. What was this again? Right, religion 60 times. Well, I don't know if I'll get a chance to do that, but I have to pick something. A sell God's worth at least 45 amber, I can definitely do that. I still need to rebuild or salvage one destroyed building, but we haven't found one yet. Oh yeah, clearance water, right? I guess I can grab that. I need wood. Yeah, yeah, low on fuel, I know. Uh, tell me something new. Get to work then. I suppose I could open this up. Always more insects. Also slightly more hostility. Another geyser. Don't really need that one anymore. Uh, how's the biscuit production? Right, I still need flour. So, stamping mill. I'm still waiting for planks. So, there's no actual downside to this system, right? As in, if you ignore this, there's no actual downside compared to like previous builds where it didn't exist. It's strictly a bonus? That sounds about right? Well, they're not doing anything right now because I need to actually enable it. I don't have the storm water yet, so I can't get the benefit at the kiln. And I don't really need it in the other buildings at the moment. So... This is actually a little bit unlucky. Storm water is what I need the most, and I don't have it. So that's a little bit unlucky. All right, let's upgrade the hearth real quick. That should do it. I can't do this just yet. Still need to find a building to repair. I could go check out the Forbidden Glade next. Okay, what the heck, let's go do that. Uh, also, I should start getting uh, these stone deposits. Here you go. Let's just start clearing this way. Towards that Forbidden Glade. So, how does Blightrot actually work now? It's a side effect of the new water system, right? So, wait, wait. If we ignore this new system, you never get Blightrot? That would definitely make things way easier. Use 130 units of rainwater, any type. Okay. That doesn't sound too bad. Yeah, so I can see where the complaints are coming from. Because in a sense, you actually gain benefits for ignoring this system. Like you're actually better off ignoring it in some situations. Well, you might not want to deal with the blight rod, so you can just ignore this. <laughs> That is a little bit weird, yeah. Just a little bit. Alright, I can open up uh, the Forbidden Glade after the next storm. Uh, hold on, hold on. We want to stay under... Three? Under two. I don't know... No, it wasn't two. It was actually... Yeah, under three. To avoid lightning. Because I don't have copper ore, I can't pay. I think this will trigger... If I go above three at any point at all. Not just at the start. That was the case with one of the other effects uh, I had before. I don't remember which one it was, but that was the case. I have to stay under free for the entire duration of the storm. So that might or might not happen, I don't know. I guess we'll see. I need to find the storm water, so hopefully we'll have it somewhere around here. Get to work. A food stockpile seems fine. But I mostly have basic food right now. I still need a building uh, for flour, so hold on. We need the stamping mill. Let's get that done real quick. Okay, that uses clearance water, so I could maybe use that from over here. Okay, sure, let's give that a shot. Oh, yep, uh, I'm at three now. Yeah, that's not great. Will it hit the buildings? I think it will. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> Okay. A bit annoying. I really dislike that. I think I'll just get rid of the ranch. Because I don't need it. Yeah, okay, I don't really need it. Wait, does this map actually have copper? Yes, it does. I just haven't found any. Actually, yes, there's some over here. But I need to remove the trees to build the mine. Is it anywhere else? Or just here? Over here? And the one down here? Doesn't... The rain collector collects storm water when it turned on the drink storm? Well, no. You mean the pump? Uh, I don't know, I don't have the rain collector, does it? Uh, where the heck is it? 
Uh, can collect infused rainwater. Okay, I don't know, but let's build it, I guess. Uh, okay, no, says drizzle water here, so no. Oh, wait, it collects uh, the relevant water for the current season, right? Does it? Yeah, I guess that's the case. That makes sense. Okay, that kind of makes sense. Next cornerstone. Roots permanent? I think I'll just get that. I'll just get the roots. So let's open this up real quick. Trader. I still need to sell stuff. So, goods worth 45 amber. Right. I can sell some leather. 45 amber is a lot. Probably won't be doing it in one go. No, definitely not. What do I want to buy? Things to make biscuits. Okay, keep coal on. Keep jerky on. I still need flour. Oh, this map doesn't have clay, does it? Uh, no, it doesn't. Well, that's fine. I can live without pottery. That will be enough. Uh, sort of. We do have roads delivery line, but I can buy some roads or berries. Uh, from the trader real quick. Here, let's just buy some berries. Okay, that'll do. And disable berries consumption. We don't want them to eat our stash. I should probably disable all of these. For now. Yeah, that should be fine, because I'm making jerky, I'm making biscuits now. So it should be fine. Just get that flour made. What else are you selling? Increases global food production speed by 20%. Okay, that's nice. Plus one grain production. Okay, I'll get the global food production. I don't have a whole lot of grain left here. Only eight charges left. Are there any more sources anywhere? Not really. Yeah, okay, hold on. I might run out of resources for flour here. So, okay, this is enough mushrooms. We'll be all right. Let's check what this is, and check the buildings. Press, clothier, cellar, granary, right. Well, oil is nice, so I could get press. I could get coats, that's an option. And this would also give me access to water skins. And the scrolls. Yeah, let's get coats. A forum, tavern, clan hall, monastery. Well... Oh yeah, I need to deliver religion 60 times. So I guess it has to be monastery, if I want to do that. Uh, or clan hall. I don't have access to training gear already. Sort of. So I guess clan hall makes the most sense. Okay, clan hall makes the most sense. Let's build it right away. I need some extra bricks. That's what the kiln is for. Can they keep up with all this production? All right, we're making biscuits slowly. Okay, it's open. A giant protofungus. So I would need herbalist camp. Hopefully we can get one. What's this? Destroy the cage of the war beast. I don't remember seeing this before. The remains of the royal guard begin to decay. Spawns from two to three pieces. Oh, that's pretty bad. Okay, that's pretty bad. Could have been worse. Every newcomer caravan arrives with two fewer villagers on board, okay? Plus 160. Threat, yeah, or rather hostility. I don't want that to trigger, for sure. I guess I'll just have to deal with the living matter then. Not too happy about that, but it is what it is. Yep, here it is. That's going to be a little bit annoying, because that will make my food disappear over time. And we'll get a resolve penalty too. A advanced rain harvester, right. I still have to rebuild one building. So this is going to be it. This is the one. Now we need the herbalist camp from the unlocks. Not that there are a lot of unlocks still coming. But there's a chance I'll get one from the trader. That might happen. How's our food production now? I might have to build a second kiln, actually. Because I can't really keep up with everything. I think I need second kiln. <laughs> One dedicated to biscuit production, at least. Okay, let's build second kiln. I just need the bricks. So I'll turn off the biscuits here. 
and the jerky for a moment. Maybe turn on some raw food consumption back on, just temporarily. But I definitely need and the second kill. Yeah, can I make the bricks? How's this going? Well, the good news is it won't spawn any more living matter. It just spawns them upon activation, but that's it. Uh, right, yeah, I could definitely uh, get a warehouse here. Not a bad idea, but I do need bricks for that. It's a bit of a bottleneck right now. I want the kiln up first. Okay, so there's the pump. So I can pay to upgrade it to get the automaton. Okay, let's give that a shot. And I could use it at the stamping mill. So here, how does this work? And this looks kind of confusing. Okay. I assume it will work automatically. The bonuses seem pretty nice. Uh, there's the kiln, so this one will be dedicated to biscuits. And the jerky, basically food. You guys can work on that. Yeah, yeah, this is part of uh, the experimental branch update, the automatons. Okay, we completed the cage. And this is also done. Yeah, so here, now I'll have the automaton here and he will like keep working forever. A level 3 increases the global capacity. And that's 10 planks, 2 pipes. And uh, the last level is second automaton. Or rather, level 2 increases global capacity, and level 3 gives you a second automaton. Uh, I need uh, to make some pipes. So I still need copper for that. I need a mine. <laughs> I think I'm going to win this by the time I get my copper production up. But maybe not. Uh, where was the mine again? Here. So I need to chop some of this forest to clear the way. To actually be able to place that mine. So there you go. Just chop this. Okay, we can deliver the order. That's also six tools. I still need the beaver resolve. Complete 14 trade routes. That's a lot of trade routes. Need for leisure fulfilled. And the ale. I don't have ale production, do I? Uh, no, I do not. 30 packs of provisions. Uh, okay, I guess I can do that. How much coal do I have? Not that much. Yeah, this probably won't be enough for the entire storm season. Oh, yeah, and my buildings will get... Damn it. <sighs> I really hate that. Okay, that's super irritating. That is super irritating. Now I need time to rebuild it. It's kind of hard to tell which one is destroyed as well. Like, how can you tell visually which one of these lizard houses it is? I certainly can't tell which one it is. Okay, this is actually a problem. I think I'm going to lose a few people here. And now also I don't have enough houses because one of my houses got hit. Yep, really annoying. I'm not going to have enough fuel. I suppose I can stop chopping. We're fine. Barely. Oh yeah, the kiln also got destroyed and now I need bricks. Come on, man. Ugh. All right. Bricks it is then. Again, one parts every time you sell goods worth of uh, worth 25 amber. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, hey, Rock Moses, thanks for a 29 month resub. Uh, the main thing that changed, well, it depends on how long you haven't been playing because the camp system is new. But the most recent update uh, is the rainwater update. So you get uh, these geysers here. There are three different types for three different types of water. Uh, you build a pump on top of it. And then you can use pipes, which are made with like, copper, uh, to get the various uh, bonuses to your buildings. Uh, which one was it? Oh yeah, stamping mill. So here's an example. This uses pipe, uh, pipes to get it installed. And as long as you actually have enough water to keep it running, you can get these bonuses. Right, I have to actually turn it up. So, increases production speed by 50%. Increases chance of extra production by 25%. Increases production speed by 50. Workers gain plus 5 to resolve. And the work is much easier with rain engines on another plus 5 to resolve. So, this will use water. Oh, okay, it will use it... Eh, okay, pretty quickly, but... These are massive bonuses. So it's an interesting system. 
Uh, this is also now how blight rot uh, is generated. So if you ignore this system entirely, you will not get blight rot, which does make the game a bit easier. Or maybe quite a lot easier once you get used to it. Okay, I'll take the parts. I think I can get enough uh, beaver resolve now with some beaver houses. Yeah, it's definitely a massive bonus to a building of your choice. Uh, advanced rain harvester. Okay, I think I might grab this. Well, no, I can't build it because I don't have enough pipes. Maybe I can buy them from the trader. And I'm a little bit rusty because I haven't played in a while as well. Uh, the trader just left. Never mind. Still waiting for one more brick. You guys are taking your sweet time. Okay, that will be enough bricks. We can disable that. Is this enough beaver resolve? Yes. Okay, so that's done. A coal and bricks in here. I'm really low on fuel. <laughs> I need to get my stockpile up before the next storm. Otherwise, I will be in trouble. I'm going to stay as close to my warehouse as possible here, just to get more wood. Okay, that's enough flour for a while. I can probably send them elsewhere. Hey, I need the copper mine, right. I might have to cut one more tree here. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll have to cut one more tree. And no, it's fine, okay. Just barely. And there is a coal deposit here, but I don't necessarily need that. I need the copper. I get my coal from the kiln. Yeah, I don't need more beavers, for sure. What are they doing now? I only got eight. So that's basically the two woodcutters, the woodcutters camps and the mine, and that's it. Alright, get the copper so that the stupid lightning won't destroy my buildings. Uh, which one was it? Yeah, right here. Pay five copper multiplied by the amount of years. If you don't, lightning will destroy three buildings. That's really annoying. And this is year six now. That's a lot of copper. That's actually a lot of copper. Not sure how I feel about that. But alright. I need some planks for the upgrade. That should be coming. Okay. Alright, that is for the training gear. I should start making that as well. And get the service building up. So wait, can I get the religion? Uh, I can't make incense, can I? Uh, no. I guess I'll just ignore that then. Better of getting explorers lodge instead. Eh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, all camps produce more yields, right? A global resolve for each rebuild or salvaged ruin. And it will be added retroactively. Yeah, let's go with that. I just need some more planks and fabric. But we'll go with that. That'll do. Uh, two more fabric and 20 planks total. Are there any more caches left? No. Oh yeah, here's the advanced harvester. I can't move it, but that's alright. Do I have enough copper to pay the tax? No, I don't think I do. I got 24. I don't think that's actually enough. So I'm pretty sure I'm about to lose more buildings. Unless I can go below free hostility. That might be tough at this point. I can't do it for the entire storm season. That's not gonna happen. Yeah, no, I don't think it's gonna happen. I can try, but I'll run out of coal and wood. So no, I don't think I can. Maybe I can still keep chopping at least some. Like, keep one guy inside. But I lose three buildings as soon as this goes to three or higher. Because of the lightning shit. It's five times the number of years. So I need 30. Maybe I can get it in time. I got 24 right now. Come on, faster. Maybe I can get it by the time I hit 3. I think I can get it. 92 out of 100. <laughs> Alright, I think we're good. 29. Come on, deliver that. Up, oh, yep, up to 4. Am I really one short? I might be one short. Yeah, I ran out of coal to burn. That's what happened. I think I'm one short to pay the tax. Unless they can... Yep, see, I was one short. Are you kidding me? Come on, man. I'm really annoyed by this stupid mechanic. And my kiln got hit again. It's the kiln every single friggin' time. Every single time he's been the kiln. 
Like literally every single time. Round on my ass. Yeah, now I have 30, but now it's too late. And do I need any of these? Actually, yeah, silent loading. Shame it's not retroactive, but all right. I'm losing track of what I need. Uh, oh yeah, trade routes. Sell goods worth at least 45 amber, I can do that. I can sell some stone. Don't really want to sell tools. Leather. And some amber. Okay, that'll do. I think that's enough. Yep, that's enough. And then I need to use the rainwater. I fulfill the need for religion. I can't really do that, can I? Well, no, I can't make incense. Wait, do you not need people inside the service buildings anymore? Oh, it's not completed yet. Fair enough. Now it's completed. So, training gear. Where was it? Here. Okay. And I think I'll need some provisions to get the trade routes going. Uh, I have no planks whatsoever. Okay. Alright, we are pretty close to done now. Uh, don't need any of these. Let's reroll. Maybe I can get the herbalist camp. Yeah, that's the one. That's what I needed. We can build that right away. Here. Next to the big mushroom. <laughs> yeah, that's a really big mushroom. And I should pop a warehouse over here. Yep. Perfect spot for the warehouse. That's 30% chance to get pickled goods just straight up. Is this rebuilt yet? Yep. Back you go then. Uh, what were these guys doing? Yeah, the annoying part is that it doesn't remember your settings. So now I have to read all my settings. Uh, that was coal and bricks. Okay, coal. It doesn't even remember my limits. I suppose I could use the global one. Yeah, I'm out of wood. We're working on it. Hostility is a little bit high. And I need more houses. A lizard house. Yeah, let's grab one or two. And how about human house? I'm out of planks. Just regular shelter for now. I'm really bottlenecked by wood and planks right now. This is not repaired yet. Yeah, I'm getting really bottlenecked hard. Right, there's the herbalist camp. I just need one more order done and that will be it. I'm not even sure which one will be fastest here. Probably using the rainwater, but I need pipes. I need to actually make copper bars as well, which I need the stamping mill for. Still got a lot of flour. And I also need copper for the tax. So I don't know. All right, well, let's make some at least. Probably not going to be 30 or 20. Okay, that's rebuilt. The kiln is rebuilt. And the beaver house, not yet. Bottlenecked by planks. Yeah, not quite sure how I feel about this system. It's a little weird. The rainwater use is actually going pretty slowly. I'm only doing that in one building at the moment. So, okay, storm water. Yeah, I don't have the pipes, so I need to make pipes first. That uses copper. So I'm only just now getting the pipes production up. To be fair, I could have done it earlier, but the fact that they require copper bars or crystallized jewel means it's going to be pretty hard to make extra ones early on. Unless you bring, like, copper bars with you or buy them from the trader. I think some of the traders were selling the pipes directly. So I guess that's also an option. Yep, okay, storm is coming. I need 35 copper for the tax. So hold on, hold on. Yeah, I just used it up for the pipes. I mean, I need the pipes. See, this was really bad luck because this stupid copper tax means I can't really test the system properly. <laughs> Out of all the games, I had to get that stupid copper tax here. It's really annoying. But alright. There's no way I can stay below 3. No, I can't. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. I can stay below 4, but definitely not below 3. I'll just have to blow a bunch of buildings again. Is it the kiln again? It actually is not this time. Surprisingly. Alright. Beaver house. Yeah, that means I got two homeless people, actually. Yep, and shelter. And now I'll probably lose two people as well. <laughs> Free hostility is like way, way too low. Way too low. 
the copper tax needs to be either lower or hostility limit needs to be higher. Like that's way too much copper to pay way too early. All right, we got some pipes. Hostility from woodcutters decreased by eight. Yep, I'll just take that, I suppose. Okay, let's install some pipes at the workshop. I actually need that. All right, I don't want to open any more glades to not get more hostility. That'll do. A trader. Oh yeah, reputation. I'll take that, thanks. Gain 10 jerky for every 10 pie produced. I would need other way around, actually. How's my biscuit production going? And we have lots of roots, so that's not a problem. Honestly, I need like sea marrow, oil, coal or wood. That's what I need. And she's not selling any of that, unfortunately. Nope, she's not. I can get plus three to oil production. That might be alright. Well, no, I can't actually produce oil. Never mind. Fortunately, we're almost done, but that was not a very good test of this system, not gonna lie. I like the bonuses. Like, the bonuses are really strong. Like, these are some massive bonuses. You can only supercharge a building of your choice, if you so desire. Newcomers. I need a few more shelters. Probably best to build some extras. <laughs> In case I'll have to deal with the storm again. That'll do. Okay, trade and industry should be done pretty soon. Now I definitely need to win because hostility is getting a little bit high. Uh, and we run out of ore, alright. Well then, shame you can't move a mine. I guess I'll have to destroy it then. We did have some copper elsewhere, up here. I suppose that will do. Probably not necessary, but yeah, I might still need more. I should be done any moment now. That's not quite enough. When will this update get out? I'm not sure, but probably soon. Once they're done balancing things. Apparently, a lot of the feedback was that right now it's a little bit too easy with this system, and I can see why. Because you can basically ignore the blight rod now. And if you do use the rain engine, the bonuses are massive. So it definitely does make things a bit easier overall. Yeah, it might be on the 2nd of February, definitely. That's probably it. Yeah, the bonuses need to be reduced a little bit. These are massive. Plus 50% production speed, twice. Like, plus 25% chance of extra yields. Plus 10 resolve to builders inside, or workers rather. These are huge. Like, I'm, I'm actually not producing wood fast enough to make planks with these bonuses active, which is pretty funny. Oh yeah, let's make some more fabric and then I can use them for houses. With that said, one interesting side effect of this system that I think I kind of like is that it will increase the value of certain buildings that were previously not as good. Because you can make biscuits in a building that uses uh, storm water, or you can make it in a building that uses, uh, was it drizzle water? One of the other types. Because right now I'm producing biscuits in the kiln, which uh, uses one type of water. But then the other buildings use other type. So you might have easier access to one or the other type. You might just want to, you know, pump one type into the kiln and use it to charge up your coal production, your jerky production, your bricks production. Although on the other hand, it makes buildings that were already super strong, even stronger, like the kiln in this case. Oh, right, a high level of corruption. I haven't been watching that. Hey, we are almost done, but okay, let's get the blight post up real quick. There, done. And that will finish it. Okay. They just need to reduce the bonuses a bit. I think it's fine overall, but the bonuses are too strong. It's certainly a more interesting system than previously, because blight rot really wasn't that interesting previously. And now it's tied to this water system, that's way better. I mean, true, the bonuses are needed on high prestige levels, but these bonuses did not exist previously, and people still did prestige levels. I think they 
they need to be a bit weaker. Like, plus 50% production speed twice is kind of ridiculous. But that's just me. Alright, well, anyway, thanks for coming, everyone. I appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Good night.